Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi has arrived in Kenya. It's the first visit by an Iranian leader to Africa in more than a decade. Raisi and the Kenyan President William Ruto are set to discuss trade. The trip is widely African seen as an continent. effort to reduce Iran's economic isolation as a result of U.S. sanctions. He will then go on to visit Uganda as well as Zimbabwe. Let's speak to Catherine Soy, who's monitoring this trip out of Nairobi. Catherine, so what exactly are we expecting uh, from the two leaders today? Well, the two presidents uh, held a press conference a little, a little earlier, and uh, they talked about uh, this deal uh, these, uh, these uh, trade deals uh, that they have made, uh, including communication technology, tourism, agriculture, education, and mining as well. So President William Ruto uh, said that uh, he is keen to form more uh, uh, strategic uh, partnerships with uh, Iran. And he also said that he hopes to expand and deepen ties between the two countries. Uh, Raisi, on his part, uh, said that he uh, wants to create more opportunities. And he also talked about this uh, issue of sanctions that have been imposed on Iran. And the president said that he, uh, despite those sanctions, um, Iran is still moving on. And how can the two sides actually benefit from each other? Well, the main issue was this uh, trade. Uh, the president talked a lot about uh, these uh, deals and how they can strengthen these uh, ties. Um, you know, we know that uh, President Ruta has been going around different countries trying to get ex invest investments uh, from these countries. And this is because of different uh, issues that have been happening in Kenya. For example, uh, Kenya is struggling economically. Um, the government has been, um, you know, trying to balance its books, which has been very difficult. Uh, the government is also struggling to service this uh, huge external debt. Uh, so the president is under a lot of pressure to perform. Um, the, we have seen protests uh, in Kenya. Actually, today, uh, there's going to be uh, opposition protests as well. So the president is trying very much uh, to get uh, other uh, countries invest in Kenya so that, um, you know, the country can can improve. Um, but then also we have been talking uh, to um, we have been talking to analysts uh, who say that on the part of President Raisi is that he's trying to form uh, this uh, alliances in different countries because of what's going on in his country uh, politically. Um, the, his country has been he's uh, he has been isolated um, internationally. Um, there's the issue of of the sanctions that I talked about as well. So perhaps that is one of the reasons why um, the president, Raisi, is trying to move and, and make more alliances, not just um, in Africa, but other countries as well. Okay, thank you for that. Catherine Soy there for us live in Nairobi.